making. Dun, 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 dun. Movie number two today. Today we'll be looking at statements with multiple quantifiers. And for the most part, we're just going to look at an example of something called Tarski's world to um, do this section. So interpreting statements with two different quantifiers. If you want to establish the truth of a statement of the form for any X belonging to the domain, there exists a Y that belongs to this other domain, E, such that, I'll go ahead and write that out, such that a predicate statement in both X and Y, your challenge is to allow someone else to pick whatever element X belonging to the domain D they wish, and then you must find an element Y and E that works for that particular X. If you want to establish the truth of a statement of the form, there exists some X belonging to the domain D for any Y that is part of some domain E, P of X and Y, your job is to find one particular X and D that will work no matter what Y, N, E, anyone might choose to challenge you with. So Tarski's World is a computer program developed by information scientist John Barwise and John Etchemendy to help teach the principles of logic. So what this program does is you can see these different blocks and there's different colors, right? So you've got the colors blue, brown, and gray, and then each of them, each shape has an individual name. So right here, you've got triangle A. Um, over here, you've got circle K. <laughs> no pun intended. So anyway, what, what uh, the way it's coded is, if you say something like triangle X, meaning that you know, you've know you got some X from the domain such that X is a triangle. Blue Y would mean that just that Y is blue. So the Y is some shape and it's blue. If you say something like right of X and Y, meaning X is to the right of Y, but it could be in a different row, right? So those are examples of some of the commands um, that you'll see. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna indicate whether each statement is true or false. We're gonna use this same Tarski's world um, for each of these problems and justify our answer. We're gonna then write the given statement using formal logical notation, and then we'll write the negation of the given statement using formal logical notation. So let's check it out. There is a triangle X such that for all circles Y, X is above Y. Well, let's look. Do you think this statement is true or false? Why or why not? Perfect. The circle B is to the right of a triangle, isn't it? And it's in the top row. And so X can't, you know, this, the triangle cannot be above Y. So this statement, for, so for part A, this statement is false. But that's okay, we can still, we can still write it in there, okay? So, Part B, there is a triangle X. So, there exists some X, meaning that, you know, X is some shape. But in particular, what is X? 
X is a triangle. So we have triangle X. But what was another condition? It also had to be above all circles. Why? So we need to put a grouping center. We need to say for any Y, we need to describe what is Y. Well, Y is a circle. And this circle needs to be what? Good. It needs to be above X and Y. And then we'll close off our grouping symbols and that's what we'll have. Now let's go ahead and negate that statement. So we're negating a for exists statement. So we're going to put for any X that's not. And then we'll just write everything that we just wrote. And then we'll be writing some logical equivalence. So X is a triangle and for any Y, Y is a circle. And given Y is a circle, it would need to be above X and Y. Okay, but we can simplify that a little bit. This is logically equivalent to for any X. It's not a triangle. And then remember when you're negating an AND statement, what happens? You're going to get an OR statement and then the negation. So then this rest of the part for any Y, where Y is a circle, Okay, so far? <laughs> All right, and then this is logically equivalent to now what we can do is we can take care of this negation over here. So for any X where X is not a triangle, or there exists a Y, where y, sorry, parenthesis here, is a circle, and not above x and y. All right, and by the way, I'm not gonna test you on Tarski's world, but it was a good way to show you this, you know, ideas from this section. So for the next one, for every object X, there is an object Y such that X is not equal to Y and X and Y have different colors. Well, let's see about this one. And at any time, go ahead and pause the movie and um, try it yourself if you'd like. So what is this saying? This is saying, given any object, right, we can find another one that is a different color. And isn't that true? Right? So this one is true. 
and then let's write this symbolically. So for any x, any object x, there exists some y such that, so how would I do such that? Well, we want to say that x is not equal to y and what else? Not the same color. The two are not the same color. Cool so far? Well, the negation of this would be what? Good, there exists some x where for any y, x equals y or they're the same color. All right, and then finally, number three, there is a circle X and there is a triangle of Y such that X and Y have the same color. So what do you think? Is this true? Is there a circle X and is there a circle Y where they're the same color? What do you think? Well, I'm looking at the circles. The circles are either brown or gray. And the triangles are all blue. So I would say that this one would be false, unless I missed something. And so writing this symbolically, what would we say? Well, there is, there exists some shape X, right? And what is that shape X? It's a circle. And what else? Well, there exists some Y, and what is Y? Beautiful, Y is a triangle. And what? The two need to be the same color. Cool so far? Alrighty, and now the negation. Well, we have this, there exists, so we need to put for any x, and then to negate this statement here, we would say not, x is not a circle, or there does not exist Oh, there are not, there exists a Y where Y is a triangle. And we have that same color. But we can simplify that, can't we? So for any x, we could say x is not a circle, or for any y, y is not a triangle. or the two aren't the same color.
Okay, so just a couple of notes before we finish off for this section. Negations of multiply quantified statements. To negate for any x belonging to some domain D, there exists a y belonging to some other domain E such that P of X and Y is logically equivalent to there exists an X belonging to a domain D such that for any Y belonging to E not P of X and Y. And then if we negate there exists an X belonging to some domain D for any Y belonging to E P of X and Y is logically equivalent to for any X belonging to D there exists a Y belonging to E such that not P of X and Y. Now be careful in a statement containing both for any and there exists changing the order of the quantifiers usually changes the meaning of the statement. All right, so that's all for this section. I hope you have a fabulous day. If you like the videos, please subscribe and let me know what else I can make for you. Bye.